Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first thing we must do is we must have an only x variables on the left hand side. So that means this positive 3 over 2 must go on the other side. So that means we got 5x square minus 17 over 2x and when you move this positive 3 over 2 on the other side becomes negative 3 over 2. The next step I want to make sure that our leading coefficient must be 1 and this is 5. How are we going to make it 1 by just simply multiplying by 1 fifth same as dividing by 5. If you multiply this one by 1 fifth, I'm going to multiply this second term with a 1 fifth and across the board as a matter of fact. So 1 fifth on this side, we are going to do this one. So you can see this 5 and 1 fifth, they are gone. So we simply ended up with 1x squared. That means leading coefficient is 1 minus 17 over 10x equal to negative 3 over 10. So far so good. Now the next thing I want you to just look at this part the coefficient of x which is negative 17 over 10. Don't worry about this negative sign. We are only interested in 17 over 10. I want you to put it down somewhere over here. 17 over 10. Now I want you to divide this number by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that one and that's going to give us 17 over 20. So far so good. And now whatever number we got, we must square it. So go ahead and square this number. So this is the number that we're going to add on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that one over here. So I'm going to put down x squared minus 17 over 10x. I'm going to put down plus equals to negative 3 over 10 plus. Now the next step is whatever this number is I'm going to add on both sides. So I'm going to say 17 over 20 square and 17 over 20 square. We add it on both sides. So far so good. Now I want you to focus on the left hand side. Let me just put a box on this part. This box represents a complete square and that complete square is x minus 17 over 20. And now you might be wondering how we got this one. So here this x, this moved over here. This fraction moved right up here and whatever this sign negative sign this showed up right in the middle equals to that is gonna be on the right hand side we got negative 3 over 10 and when you square this fraction that's gonna be 289 over 4 100. Now let's take care of this fraction over here. I'm going to put it somewhere right up here. And here I put down the, these fractions right up here. Let's go ahead and simplify. As you can see our uh, denominator, this is 10 and this is 400. We want to make sure that we have the same common denominator. That means we're going to multiply top and bottom by 40 isn't it? When we multiply top and bottom by 40, so that's going to give us on the top is going to be a negative 120 over 400 plus 2 
89 over 400. Since we got the same denominator, you just put it once 400, negative 120 plus 289, that's going to give you 169 over 400. So that's what I'm going to put down. This, this, these two fractions have reduced to 169 over 400, and the left hand side is as it is x minus 17 over 20 square. Now we want to undo this square by we're going to take the square root on both sides. So far, so good. Now this square and square root they undo each other so we are going to get this one over here x minus 17 over 20 turns out to be positive or negative square root of 169 is 13 over 20 so far so good and now i want you to move this negative 17 over 20 on the right hand side because we want to isolate x so x equal to when you move negative 17 over 20 become positive 17 over 20 plus or minus 13 over 20. Now we're going to split them up, these positive and negative sign. So we're going to have x equals to pos 17 over 20 plus 13 over 20. The other side is going to have x equals to 17 over 20 minus 13 over 20. So far so good. So the next thing what we're going to do is let's go ahead and simplify that thing. So since 20 is our common denominator, 17 plus 13, that is going to give us 30 over 20 means x reduces to 3 over 2. On this side, we're going to do the same thing. So 20 is our common denominator. 17 minus 13, which is going to give us 4 over 20, which reduces to 1 fifth. So x equal to 1 fifth is another solution. Thus our solution set turns out to be a 3 over 2, the other solution is 1 fifth and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.